everyone, it's Slav here. Today we are going for some Dimir gameplay. You might have seen the previous movie, but uh, it wasn't with commentary, so I hope it makes a positive difference for you. Uh, so let's get back to deck. So the deck is mainly focused about survival and campaign. So this is some like old school deck that was used uh, in few of the other expansions, but we have still all the new toys. So first the Seagate restoration that makes a big difference often and the Scarab Gut together with uh, Hairless Act. So those are small changes, but they actually make a difference, especially if you factor like some extra removal and counter spells. So it's kind of, let's say, new version of this deck and I generally like it a lot. This is after the game, so I knew how they went. And what I have to say about this deck, it's strong when it's strong. Like when you get a control and you have like six mana to make a campaign and still have the sabotage. And then when they cast something, what you get is campaign back and spell countered. Then you replay it again. And after two or three turns like this, you have like six man uh, six card advantage over them and then basically the game is over or it should be over at least because generally you have answer for everything you have exile you have plane walker removal we have counter spells you have creature health negate and you can like clear everything in the hand if you have a, a lot of useless cards you can just go with uh, drawing and when you double the card number after the campaign you can risk one turn and you can answer everything they do with Liliana it's a bit uh, on the how to say it it's fun card it's strong card I like that you can actually draw cards with it with Asher that I previously had in the slot it was sometimes situation that the enemy had two creatures and if I remove one of those it usually comes back because he will discard something else. So I don't really get much. I just discard one card and make some tempo play. And Ashok dies to the second creature. And in the end, I often found that it's not worth playing instead of like counter spells, removal and so on, because it's just a bit weaker. Liliana, on the other hand, answers situation when enemy is top decking and he has two creatures on the board. Usually it, one of them can be bigger, so it, like the removal doesn't cut it. So for one turn we clear the board. If they don't draw anything, you just have Liliana. And when you have creatures and Liliana and they can block, you just get so many cards and so much value that you automatically win. So I liked it a bit more as a win condition because we don't run much. Uh, Seagate is a bit win of win condition but it's very like unique, it depends on the situation. Scarab Gut is good versus creature decks because he's hard to kill uh, and he can like summon a lot of creatures with cool effects. Even with goblins you can just, you know, make any kind of goblin in the one turn, you s get scrying and the next turn they actually make a cumulative like value and then you start winning usually. So it's a good card versus those decks. Versus any kind of slower decks campaign is the main thing because moment you have like seven cards and they have one and they are top decking. So you can clear their hand until the rest and you know get uh, get your staff to answer everything they had in the board. Especially that cards like Discovery might seem insignificant, but you will see during one of the games it actually like helped a lot because you have this parser so you when an enemy usually doesn't keep any cards in the hand because he knows they will be discarded he has clear hand and everything you can do this parser it's removed from the game and sometimes it's handy because we don't really have artifact hate sometimes we lack plane walker remover and they are usually the scary ones like five six mana so and this is an instant so you can do a lot of things with this and it actually helps all like to answer all the things that other cards cannot 
and sometimes you don't have a uh, counter spell in the second you need it or you just you know play second so enemy can make a tree drop and it stays so depending on the situation the deck is very flexible what i don't like about it i think that moment you fall behind or you don't get enough runs and so on it's just very slow and if you play this because it's obviously not an instant you just cannot answer with anything of those if you play board clear you cannot answer it and you cannot discard so you really need mana to do two things in one turn and then the deck starts to be very strong and i really like it but getting to this point usually six mana because our crucial plays are three mana each so we need this one and counter spell or this one or re and remover and this can be a problem but when you get it it's really fun and i really uh, recommend this deck just for the fun of it and to play it and you know it's it's really controlly deck. Uh, on the other hand, I wouldn't really craft those cards. Like probably you have some of them because they are just used in a lot of decks. But it's not a very competitive deck, I would say. It's it's good for normal regular play, but it's not like you get two turns and you just make hyper value of fifty mana and twenty cards like some decks do, or you don't go goblins with twenty few damage a turn. It just goes like card by card and tries to make an advantage this this engine of campaign is the main thing so with no further ado because i know you want to see the games and not exactly the story behind it uh, let's go to the games and enjoy okay so unfortunately the opponent goes first but we have ritual so it's quite good like it's it's of course not great because this is for now that card and negate uh, it can be a dead card depending on what we find but this seems a very, <laughs> very aggressive deck i guess so the good part is this and it actually will be probably used as a counter spell okay we actually got a remover so yeah so so we are happy with with the draw let's see what it will be so greek six okay i could paint it because it won't make a huge difference but actually this way enemy doesn't see if we necessarily have something to play or we just you know had this land and just played it because it's untapped anyway so this this is always a good play when, when you can not show that you actually want this land okay so the discover that's fine for us so generally turn four is like big play for this deck so probably some bolas and on turn 5 usually like some other bolas so the 5 one depending on the mana so we will hold this because it's probably very useful later yeah so I expect a 4 mana creature so we actually will bait it because this way i think the enemy might think that we don't have any kind of counter spell and the only thing that we actually like put into the play is uh, like some creature with three mana cost yeah so it didn't work but it was i think a good try hmm okay so we won't do anything this turn we need to take it slow So it's more of a threat matchup. So just we will see who has more threats that he will play, and whoever runs out of uh, like important cards probably get outvalued. 
Oh, that's that's a strong one. Hmm. I don't really want this scene in place, so we will counter it. Yeah, and we will use it. Because this deck also has creatures, so we cannot go without anything. Like, we need some one hard counter at least. Okay, this is a, a very good. I think the disruption can be important. Because at some point, point probably he will try to like sneak to, to spells in one turn. So then uh, probably full mana will be used. Yeah, something like this. And now hopefully we we'll get four mana play that we can counter. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I think this one would be very important because we need yeah the campaign soon. We will hunt the hold the counter spell. Yeah. But very good on our opponent, he actually plays around it. So we need to do this. We don't need this one. So, do we do good? I think that actually we will smack the Ashok, because we need something on the board and some threats. So he needs to answer them. And for now we won't really need this, because we have uh, quite a lot of mana usage here. It will probably get killed, so that's a bit unfortunate, but it pressures them, it slows them, so... I think they shouldn't have... Yeah, okay, they have it. So that's not great. Okay, so for sure we will kill it. Okay. Yeah, that's a very good play on, on enemy. Let's go with this one. Especially that he might think that he will keep the bolas. Mm -hmm. I don't think counter spell will be important here, but we can always try it. Like, who knows? Maybe he has uh, 7 or 8 mana play. I don't think it will be like this, but who knows. Okay, and that's like the perfect turn. Okay, that's, that's good. And we will hold to this. That's because uh, it's very possible we will do it again next turn. And then... We should win the game. How many cards? 36. So, yeah. Okay, now now it's much better. Oh, that's a hand. <laughs> so that's explain that uh, explains a lot. We don't have maximum hand size, so we can stock a lot of threats. <laughs> yeah. Good game. So actually the game was pretty even until we drew the like seven mana uh, dual land. Yeah? Okay, so we are going second. And we actually might need the counter spell, so we will we'll see what's going on. 
and for now we will keep this one. It might be Uro, but it might be some form of play. And then now we are pretty happy. Whatever comes, you can just kill it. So this one is ramp, so not really scary, especially for now. We got ramp, so that's great for us. And we actually can start checking what they have. Especially that we survive, so we can see our next draws. Hmm. Okay, so they couldn't censor. Yeah, as always. And we don't need creature hide because they barely have any. And we have a lot of those. Wow. <laughs> that that's amazing. You can just draw every party you want. That's something. Okay, but we need rents, so we'll just go with rents as much as we can. The opponent does some interesting <laughs> plays. Uh, okay, so we cannot do the Scarab God. But the enemy has sensors, so just to be sure, we better do one mana extra. And it works. I actually like this. It's it's useful. Like it's very useful right now. The life isn't important, but they have problems with the next play. Of course, they have the another one, but it still slows them down. And that's what we need because we just need two more turns. So if we draw the counter spurs. We have removal, so that's not a problem. I think we are in a very good place. And we will plus, so we get the emblem. Let me know. So as you can see, the enemy is a bit desperate, because he needs to kill uh, Jace very fast, and he doesn't really have any way of doing it. Like, with the creature, it's just too slow. It's not worst, but we have, let's say, lands and we need counter spells. Yeah, like this. So, uh, what we have? They have the fairy, so better leave the murderous rider, but we actually cannot. And it's too important to kill it. So we will kill only something that threatens Jace, like directly, so Uro isn't a, prob a problem even if he goes up. Yeah, so that was some interesting top decking from both of us. Okay, so as usual we go second, and that, that's a fine draw. It's actually quite good. Okay, and we know the deck that we are playing against, at least partially. So it will be quite slow and a lot of creatures, yeah? So this card and this card should be quite good here. And do we go the discovery? So this will be the third play. We cannot cry it. We can actually destroy this one right now. But do I really want it? No, uh, 
will go differently. So uh, pass for now. We will kill this one next turn, and then we will counter something else next turn, and we should have five uh, for mana. Yeah, that's fine. That's only for damage. Hmm, <laughs> that's interesting. I think we actually want to bounce it because first he needs to play it again and then we can counter it and if not we can do it like this so we are getting a, a bit of damage on the face but we are getting the control that we wanted Negate can be a bit awkward in this matchup. Okay, so next turn we probably will do the discover for round. I'm thinking if we should take it because it's, it's a good card. It might be a mistake, but I, I want to like see what he has in hand and have some control and we probably like we don't need to kill anything this turn yeah and uh, that's exactly what i wanted and now we can check what's going on so what we have this one isn't scary this one is a bit, so he doesn't really have much mana and this one is great for us, so I think either hand but we, we can counter it, so it's 6 mana hmm. so it's 6 mana after the Draw. Okay, so he won't play it next turn. This one we are fine. This one, uh, it's not a big problem, so we don't want this one. Okay, and does it change? Yeah, we want the land because we want to ride there if needed and negate uh, when they go for the hand. Or we can actually just go Ritual. We can't counter, so that's uh, a little downside, but other than this, it's, it's good. Okay, so... Okay, so now we need to think. Like we can do this, then he will Yorvo, then we will kill it and have the negate. And that's fine. And we need 5 mana for both of those. Mm -hmm. So now it will be Hench, I hope, next turn. And if not, I, I will keep this one. So we will see. Right now it's... Uh, it's 4 mana, so I think he can do it. But it's, it's a risky from him. Because right now he won't be able to help. And we will do this one next time. Or maybe even this one. That big.
Okay, so what do we have here? This one will be for Max probably, unless he's smart, because he seems to play around this one. And he didn't see it even. So we go to one, I think. And we actually need this one, because we need six mana for next turn play. And it's sorcery. Like, even if he does it, we have negate. Yeah, he's thinking about it. But he won't. Okay, so this one we have solved. Now it will be attack. Uh, it's not a huge difference, so we can let him. And then kill this one. So we are on one life, but we have both riders, so... And it fights, so it will heal. And actually, given this draw, it's better. Because moment he targets something with this one, we can just kill it. And it doesn't get trampled. I think he will do it. Okay. So, let's be smart. Okay, and, and now we are really helpful. Uh, sorry, help. <laughs> uh, we are really happy with the outcome. So, we can go with this. Do we need the card? Yeah, we draw two per, per turn, so that's not forced. And we'll go for control just for, like, pretending it's something. It won't really matter much, but it might. Ooh. So no creatures here, and we don't have graveyard here. To me. Those are lot, a lot of them. Okay, so it's end of turn. And what we can do? Hmm. I think we should draw a card. Because we can block both. I don't need negate. It won't really help with any. And that's a very good draw. So, we can counter and kill this one. So whatever he did, uh, whatever he do, I think we are clear. And no sense to do anything because Jace can, like in a moment, win the game. Either by drawing cards or just going cold, but I don't think it will. Oh, well, that's smart. Because why not? Yeah, we don't need to go with any of those. No. So what we do need, some sweeper would be probably game winning. And we will see if he goes for the cure. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe he does it, like he doesn't need to. But for the next use it makes it like weaker. So that's an additional card. I'm not sure what he was afraid of. Like I don't have white then. 
Okay, we can draw cards because it's like not a big problem, and that's that's the card. We will play it because first uh, we aren't really pressured, or we are, and we just lost. But there's nothing we could do. We could attack, actually. That was a good draw. <laughs> that was a perfect draw. The only thing that actually kills us. So, I actually should attack with the rider. And this way, what we would get is 5 life. But I honestly didn't think he would draw the Hydra. What I like about Jace is that he actually can finish the game instead of some other planewalkers. Of course, there are some that work like this, but some of them just, you know, get plussed into eternity and they don't single-handedly win the game, and that's the problem. Okay, so the opponent goes first, it's not great hand, like Jace is too slow and we probably need a turn 2 just to find lands, but we, we might do something here. It would be great to have some removal, because we will be super behind on the board. Okay, let's go with this, if in case we draw the... Uh, the land that needs uh, Swamp or Island. Okay, so it's Goblins. And that's good, because next turn they won't be able to do their thing. So we will go blue, and we need blue second next turn. So we just need to dig for it. Yeah, and that's good. That's what we need. Like it will, it will hurt, but it's better than like letting uh, the game lose. <laughs> but but next turn, if he has land, he can do it. Unfortunately, by tank we really show that we have something. And we have two counter spells, so we can like counter something else. If he's smart, he won't play it. Yeah, that was a good play. Hmm, that hurts. I think we need some sweeper. Like, what do we do next turn? We play Swamp and we either sabotage or do the... but I, I think we can actually go with this one next turn, so it's, it's okay. Because for sure we don't no want to play, uh, to use any mana. Sorry, any life, because we are on 8. Uh, after we do it, so that's horrible. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's okay. Here is the guy. So two, three, four, five. So he ac he can actually cast it, and he will, and that's great. So uh, that's something we were waiting for the whole game, because now we can actually start clearing the board, and we will see how much life we have, because we can clear all of his hand. 
and I think we will. Problem is he might draw something that kills us. But oh, that that's that's good card. So he can do the five damage, and that's a lot. But we have cleared everything from his hand. Hmm. So next turn it will be. No. I think we need the untapped round. Because six mana is a lot for us. It's two plays, so it's not bad, but we need something better. Okay, what did you draw? If it's Krenko, I think we are... No, we are under because he can't use the castle then. Yeah. So that's a bit scary. We could go to one, but that, that's too low. So what we need to do is this one. We just need to clear everything. And then, next turn, I think we are back into the control. Unless he gets something like this. But it's, it's not worst. Okay, so what we need to do... <laughs> we can actually do this one. Like, we need to play passively, because we can counter everything he has, at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, because it's a scary goblin, so let's just go with everything we have. And when we get the sixth life, we can go with everything. Okay. Do you pump it? He doesn't. And that's smart. He cannot use the mana because it's combat phase. Okay. So that that's something. I think we go with Ashok. We need one turn where we aren't pressured. So this is the last turn when we didn't have counter spell. But we, we cannot just wait because he can like stack the goblins and we don't have so many counter spells. And if he had something I think he would play it. So right now we are starting to make like a board and that's that's huge. It would be fun to play something like this or this but it's not worth it. Like we need the the new land and when we have it we can start playing. So what we want is to exile Moxus. Okay, and go. So we don't really have remover because we cannot play this one. We need the sixth land so we can start healing. Okay, and that that's good. That's really something. Okay, some good draws are done. Hmm. Okay, so what we want to do? Like this is the only damage that they have. Okay. 
Okay, so next turn we can also use the ultimate. I don't think it will be smart, but we can. And this turn we can draw a card and heal. And then we should hit the land and then we can actually play all our cards. Yeah, that's fine. Like we, we just save a blocker for this and that's it. Okay, so first the life, in case something happens. They shouldn't have any shock, but if they have, we need life before we are tapped. And let's go with this one. Four and five. Because in some world we, we might take this card from the Scarab God. I don't think we will, but if we steal something, it might be a bit quite good, I guess. I'm not really <laughs> convinced, so uh, maybe. I'm not sure. But actually, we can play quite a lot of those. Hmm. Yeah, uh, let's go. Before attack, because we want to attack this turn. Okay, so it will be for sure this one. I would love the plus one, plus one, but let's go with this one, so they get haste. And... This doesn't really help us, so I think it's better. We don't have any goblin. This one gives us a treasure. I actually like this one. Because one mana can be a huge difference for us. We are going with all of this and we need to have, let's say, two brokers. I know we could probably kill him, but if he has anything, like we are risking it and I don't see any reason because we have like full control about everything. Especially that I will probably use this one. So, like, we, we just win one turn later. Yeah, like, we don't really care. Okay, so right now what we need to do... Like, we don't need to do anything. We have sabotage and we have either this one or this one. And he needs yeah yeah, very good game. That was close actually. Okay, so it's a good game but not a good game. So let's see. I, I don't think there's anything that's possibly saving him, but why not? Oh, but that that was a game, I must admit. It was hard. Like, without this countering, every game, we would super lose it. Let's give him a heart.